What do you do if you live in an area that's got sky high premiums for plan G and plan N? Well, today I'm gonna talk to you about an alternative plan, plan GHD, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Jamie Banner. I'm the founder of Medicare by Jamie, and I'm a licensed insurance agent that works specifically with people enrolling into Medicare. Today, I'm gonna talk to you about the hidden plan, Plan GHD. Now, before we get started, if you find the information in this video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe, leave a comment down below. It lets YouTube know that this is important information so more people can see it. Okay, so when we look into our supplement plans, everyone's telling you Plan G or Plan N. They're right in the middle of the chart. They've got a lot of coverage, they make sense. But if you look up at Plan G, you're gonna see a tiny little asterisk, and that's because within G, there's a hidden plan. So it's not just Plan G, there's a hidden plan GHD. Why they hide it, I'm not sure. It's honestly a great option for certain parts of the country, and we really shouldn't ignore it. With supplement plans, that's what I do for a living. I assist people in finding the best Medicare supplement plan option for them, based on their needs. So if you're looking for a Medicare supplement plan option, you can give me a call. It's no cost to you. My number is 833-65-JAMIE, or you can email me at jamie at medicarebyjamie.com, and we can work together to get you in the best supplement plan option for you. So when we see this hidden plan, we're kind of like, how is it similar to G? What's different about it? So when we look at a breakdown of G to GHD, we see everything looks pretty similar except at the very bottom when we see an annual high deductible. So when that plan GHD, the HD, you guessed it, stands for high deductible. So essentially a plan GHD is a plan G that carries a high deductible. And that deductible is going to be $2,340 annually with the plan. And I know you're thinking, well, why, why would I go this way? Why would I pick up a plan G with this high deductible? Why not just go G? Well, the high deductible is going to carry a low premium. That's kind of your trade-off. Your premium will drop way low, but you have that high deductible for the year. So plan G, you've got the part B deductible of $198. Plan GHD, you've got the high deductible of $2340. And it's not going to be two separate deductibles. It's not going to be the 198 and the 2340. That 198 feeds into the 2340. So really, it's just the one big high deductible. Once that's paid off, the plans are identical. So quick breakdown, plan G plus your 198 Part B deductible becomes full coverage. Plan GHD plus that 2340 high deductible becomes full coverage. And I'm gonna explain a little bit about places in the country where this plan makes a lot of sense just based on the premium prices for some other plans. So the first place we're gonna start is in Fort Lauderdale. That's where I live in Florida, so I see this all the time. So we put in for a female age 65, so coming right into Medicare in the zip code 33324. So you can see a Plan G premium is $226 a month. That's pretty high compared to most other parts of the country. That's gonna be a high annual premium as opposed to your plan GHD with a $61 premium. So we've got 226 versus $61. So let's look at the breakdown. So here's our monthly premiums. Now annually, that plan G is gonna be 2712 as opposed to your GHD annual premium will be $732. So your difference in premium for the year is 1980. And I mean, that speaks for itself. Yes, your GHD's got a high deductible of 2340, but you would be saving $2,000 essentially in premium with going to a GHD. And what I love to tell people is that high deductible is 2340, it's high, but you may never hit it for the year. It's always something to think about. You, If you pay this high premium, you will pay that 226 every month, no matter what. With the GHD, you have that high deductible and you might hit it or you might not. And if you don't hit it or even come close to it, you've saved so much money in premium. I mean, it just, it speaks for itself how much money you can save. 
Now we'll get another case. So another state where it makes sense, New York. So if we've got a male age 68 in Brooklyn, Plan G premium is 268 a month. Again, that is expensive compared to a lot of other parts of the country, as opposed to this GHD at $78 a month. So when we look at the annual breakdown, here's our monthly cost. Annually for that Plan G, he's looking at $32.16 for the year, as opposed to a GHD is coming in at $9.36. So that difference in premium for the year is $22.80. I mean, if we look at our GHD deductible of $23.40, it's almost the same number, that difference you save in premium. And again, that deductible, you might not hit it. What's great about it is it gives you a stop. So on your very worst year, I'm talking something catastrophic happens, you know, you are hospitalized, that 2340, you're gonna hit it, but that's your stop, you are done. And then you have a full coverage plan. But hey, if you have a great year, you're running marathons, you're eating all your vegetables, you have no issues, you've saved that money in premium and you can save that money every year you have a great year. It just it makes so much sense to look at these plans when you've got such high premiums for Plan G. Another state we're looking at, Connecticut. So we've got another female, she's 70, she lives in Hartford. Her Plan G premium, least expensive, is $198.25. Plan GHD, $50. So when we look at that annual difference, I mean Plan G, we've got $23.79 for the year. GHD is just $600. So that difference in premium, 1779 again huge savings save that money in premium you have that deductible that's your stop you might hit it you might not i'm going to keep saying that over and over again that's my that's my thought process you may never hit it it's it's good to save that money cuz again if you go plan G with that high premium you're paying almost 200 bucks a month every month and you might not even, if you're not gonna use that plan to its full benefit, you're basically just throwing money away when you could be saving it. And all that money you save in premium, put it towards that deductible. Keep a little nest egg so if something happens, you've got it. If not, great, you've saved money. You can use it on a rainy day. So when would I choose Plan GHD? If I live in a state or an area where the Plan G premium is $180 a month or more, I'm going GHD. I have a hard time justifying why I would spend more than that on a plan G when I've got this great alternative plan that once that deductible is paid off, offers me those same exact benefits. Because you have to remember, your plan G has a part B deductible to it of $200 a year. This deductible, yes, it's higher, but honestly, it's pretty average with a lot of group plans you're probably coming off of with retirement. Another reason I might choose GHD, if I live in a state with year-long open enrollment, and these are states like New York, Vermont, Connecticut, I explain open enrollment year-long in another video. I'm gonna link it down below, get into what year-long open enrollment means and why it makes total sense to go with a plan like GHD. I hope this video kind of explained to you a little bit about this hidden plan and why it really shouldn't be hidden because it's such a viable option. If you have any questions, you can always call me. My number is 833-65-JAMIE. You can visit my website, medicarebyjamie.com, or you can email me at jamie at medicarebyjamie.com. If you found the information in this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. I also hid another movie quote in there, so if you can tell me the movie, put it in the comments, and thank you for watching. Hi, I'm Jamie Banner, the founder of Medicare by Jamie. I'm gonna give you a quick run through of my website so you can easily navigate and find all the important links and information I provided for you. So when we get started, we're gonna be right on the homepage and the first thing you can see is you can request a Medicare supplement plan quote. And that's what I do. I assist people in finding the best Medicare supplement plan options for them. So if you go ahead and put your zip code in there and a couple other basic pieces of information, I can get you the best supplement plan quote in your area. Once we get away from there and we go up to the top, we can see the Resource Center. So if we click on the Resource Center, we've got a couple options under there. The first one's gonna be Video Library. So when we click there, it's gonna take you to a page that shows you all of my YouTube videos. So all my videos will be on there along with their titles, so you can easily kind of search through them and see what video you're looking for based on your current needs. 
There's also a button up there that says subscribe to YouTube. So that will take you straight to my YouTube channel where you can subscribe, comment, do whatever you need and find all the videos you need. When we go back to the resource center, the next link is gonna say important links. And that's gonna be a ton of different hyperlinks that sh give a lot of information like finding doctors that take Medicare, maybe filing a claim if you had something, lots of different things that can take you out to show you things you can do for Medicare. And the last section is gonna be guides and forms. Now this one is really important. I've listed a ton of forms that are gonna be very important for Medicare. Stuff like employer coverage forms if you're still working past 65, IRMA appeal forms, maybe if you need to check your Part B premium based on your income. I have all of that here, plus a lot of different informative PDFs that's gonna give you as much information as you need in Medicare, because that's what we want. We want you to be completely educated on everything Medicare related so you can make the best and most informed decision. I've also got it up here where everything is divided into categories. So if you need to find something a little bit faster, just click one of these categories and it's gonna narrow it down to things involved in that section. Again, if you have any questions, you can always call me. My number is 833-65-JAMIE. You can also email me at jamie at medicarebyjamie.com or you can go to the website and hit the contact us button and you can send me a little information. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.